Hello guys, there is another update video. As you have seen in my channel, there are already a lot of videos about machines I uh, run on my Xen client. And there is now another video, it's about my new virtual machine, my Windows 8 machine. I downloaded the beta today from the Microsoft site. Um, for the installation on the Xen client, you have to configure a little trick. Uh, you you cannot say for this virtual machine that you want to use a Windows operating system you have to choose the Ubuntu machine otherwise it will end in the blue screen in this edition of Windows it's not a blue screen it's a black screen actually it's just a black screen which shows you a bug check code uh, when it crashes for the installation I chose one vCPU and two gigabytes of RAM I did not configure any of the other options as you may have already seen in other videos so this is all you need for the installation you can just start the, the image and it will boot up after this normally you don't have to configure anything else install Windows 8 on the machine after this you can choose to install the Xen tools just insert the Xen tools from your Xen client and you'll be fine uh, Windows 8 does not recognize your wireless LAN but uh, something's going wrong or different so I'm using a wireless LAN at the moment and it uses this wireless LAN as, as my normal LAN so it doesn't show up as wireless it shows up as a normal LAN collect, uh, connection what I am using here so just a second I mistyped my password so okay and now my Windows 8 is booting, it looks a little different, so if you're interested in what Windows 8 does and can, just have a look at all those other videos from the other guys. I just want to show you the performance on the Xen client. So, um, for example, let's choose application here on the, on the left pane, uh, just a second. What do we have here? For example, let's open Paint Play. Paint Play is the new paint, um, as far as I know and down here you have the, the colors you'd like to choose and you can draw in here and with the Windows button it swaps back to your graphics and to your, to your patterns and as you may see the graphics are performing rather good and this is because I activated this 3D graphics after you install the Xen tools you can, install, you can choose to use your, your 3D graphic card and I chose to do this and so now I can for example use uh, my my Intel HD graphic card so I just want to have a look if I can show it you here somewhere around uh, no it was on the desktop here so you just also get back to, to your normal desktop but you cannot do anything if I click on start I get back to my, my desktop so it's a little different all to the Windows 7 but here is what I wanted to show you I'm using at the moment my Intel HD graphics card from my Dell notebook and it's working really good so I just show you another app which is available in the default configuration of this Windows installation which is Aircraft Aircraft is just a demo app to show you the 3D graphics it's nothing special it actually tells you how to fold a paper plane and you can paint on it and you see the 3D graphics are working very well yeah. so this is a, just a little review for my Xen client with Windows 8 oh there's something I got to mention if you activate 3D graphics and boot it you, uh, you have not the possibility any longer to press Ctrl 0 to get to your DOM 0 to your Xen client otherwise the virtual machine will hang up and with this also your Xen client will hang up the only way to get out of it uh, will be to uh, force shut down your notebook or your computer so if you want to get out here you have to choose log off and afterwards you can shut down or hibernate this machine and this is the only way to get out of this machine again any other way will bring you in uh, a stock and this will have to force shut down the machine. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments. I will try to help you if, if you have any troubles with this machine. So, 
uh, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. See you.